Okay, we have another minute. We'll start the class. Okay, everybody. So you're all muted. Feel free to unmute to ask questions. Namaste. My name is Arti, and I'll be leading your class today. Okay, rocking side to side, sit comfortably. Even weight on both your sits bones. Fingers in chin mudra. Deep inhale, deep exhale. I'm going to begin the class with uh, chanting. Three akaras, three ukaras, three makaras, three omakaras, and three omkaras will beginning mantra. So we'll start with fingers and chin mudra. Keep your index finger a little bit lower than your thumb. Deep inhale. Uh, Make a fist down inside. Touching fist to your belly button. A umakara in one single breath. Inhale. Uh... Turning your palms in Namushkar Mudra at your heart center. Palms pushing against each other, back of your thumb, touching your heart. 
three omkaras deep inhale uh, forehead to the floor with the complete surrender to Mother Earth. Inhale back up and release your arms. Awareness to your neck. Inhale, look up. Exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to the center, inhale, bring your right ear to the right shoulder, exhale, center, inhale, left ear to the left shoulder, exhale, center, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Come back to the center, we're gonna twist your neck, bring your chin over your right shoulder, Inhale, exhale, stay right here. Come back to the center, opposite side. One more breath and come back. Dropping the chin to the chest, circling, inhale. Right ear to the right shoulder, going back. Exhale, left ear to the left shoulder, coming forward. Slower the better. One more round, same side, inhale and exhale. Observe any stiffness, any soreness in your neck, in your shoulders. You want to breathe into it and reverse, inhale. Left ear to the left shoulder going back. Exhale. Inhale, finishing up your last round and exhale loosening all the muscles in your neck and your shoulders and relax you're going to do inhale bring your shoulders to your ears inhale exhale and relax rotation bring your arms out palms facing up to your shoulder blades. Bring your elbow stretch, inhale, exhale. Beautiful rotation in your shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more. And reverse. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more, and relax. Try to do all your movements with your breath. Inhale, and inhales and exhales. Again, bring your arms out. We're gonna open your lungs. Inhale, exhale. One more, exhale. 
Keep your fingers wide open. We're going to rotate from your wrist as you inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Very nice. Open wide, close tight. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. When you tighten, tighten your whole arm. Inhale, exhale. One more. And relax, shake it out. Bring your arms parallel to the floor, pushing the uh, walls away from you. Inhale, exhale, push. Lengthening your arms, feel the blood rushing in your arms. Relax from your wrist, one more. Inhale, exhale and push. And check it out. Okay, punching bag. Inhale, exhale, keep your elbows soft. Bring the punching bag closer to you. Again, both hands. Just your couple bhati breath. Passive, uh, active exhalation, passive inhalation. Enjoy. Hands at your chest region. You're gonna work your obliques. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. If your neck allows, you're looking at the fingers going back. If you can speed up, another round of Kapal Bhati breathing. Going down. And relax. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale to your right. Come back to the center. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale to the left. Slowly come back to the center. Very nice. Again, you're gonna stretch your obliques. Walk your um, left hand to the side. Inhale your right hand up. Exhale, fold. Again, stretch wherever you are. Inhale. Exhale, go deeper into the stretch, elbows going down, elbow going down, right hip, trying to touch the mat. Slowly come back. Observe the stimulation happening on your right side. Compare it with your left. Slowly walk your right hand out, inhale your left hand up. Lift your spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, stretch wherever you are. Exhale, going deeper into the stretch, elbow touching down. Pushing your left hip to the mat and reach, chin away from your chest. Exhale, come back slowly and relax. You're gonna release your arm, uh, legs. Inhale, you're gonna spread your toes wide. Exhale, squeeze your toes. Inhale and exhale. 
Inhale, last one. Take the air all the way to the tips of your toes. Exhale, squeeze. And shake it out. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Feel the tops of your legs as you inhale, point. Last round. And hold. Exhale, flex and hold. Feel the back of your legs. The heels might lift for some of you. And relax, shake it out. Let's work your knee. You're gonna strengthen your knee. Inhale, you're gonna lift your right leg up. Interlock your fingers behind your right thigh. Lift your leg up as high up as you can with your straight spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale, one more. Deep inhale, you're gonna circle. And reverse. If your right knee is okay, you're gonna kick it. Otherwise, if you have issues, you want to do it gently. And relax. Observe the stimulation happening in your right leg versus your left. Blood rushing to your right knee. Opposite leg. Inhale, lift up, exhale, fold. Inhale, exhale. You're gonna keep your knee hooked to your chest, inhale. Exhale, very good. Circle, deep inhale. Exhale, reverse. And you're gonna kick. Again, if you have issue with your left knee, do it gently, otherwise kick with your heel. And relax. Very nice. Again, observe the stimulation happening in your left leg. Blood rushing. Very good. Again, we're going to uh, tighten your quads. Lift your heels up if you can. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. It's a beautiful practice. Anytime you're sitting down, you want to practice this to strengthen your knees, muscles around your knees. Another one, we're going to um, spread your legs wide. Right hand by your right leg. Flex your toes and lift. Five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. And go over to the other leg again. Both toes are flexed. Lift. Relax. Bring your legs together. Shake it out. If you can, both legs together. And relax, shake it out. You're gonna work your inner thigh muscle here. So you're gonna make a palm, uh, bring it between your knees and squeeze. You're gonna work your inner muscle. Very nice. If you have a bigger gap, you want to make a fist and squeeze your fist. Relax, shake it out. Loosening your joints, big toe and the pinky touch. And relax, shake it out. Okay, bring both legs together, Bandhakonasana, butterfly pose. Very good. Loosening your hip joint. You're gonna inhale, bring it up, exhale. 
exhale, push it down. Lift your spine up, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. Again, you're going to open your uh, feet like a book and observe the changes happening. Your knees dropping down further to the floor and relax. Bring your heels up a bit, making a bigger diamond with your legs. Hold your shins, inhale, lift up. Chin away from your chest, elbows pushing down on your thighs as you come down. Straight spine, inhale, stretch wherever you are. Exhale, going deeper into the stretch. Beautiful. Finally releasing your forehead to your toes. Relax in this pose. Slowly come back up. And do Kegel, lifting the pelvic floor muscle. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Kegel muscle is the muscle um, you use when you go to the bathroom. Try holding your pee halfway. You know exactly what the Kegel muscle is, and that's what we're working right now. Helps you control your bathroom better, your pee better. Good for your uh, prostate for men, and uterus for women. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze and hold, and relax. Very good. Keep your um, left leg here, right leg out, belly button facing the straight leg. Inhale, both arms up, exhale over your right leg. Inhale, chin away from your chest, straighten out your spine. Exhale, going deeper into the stretch. Inhale, back up. Bringing your right arm inside your right leg. Open your torso up to the ceiling. Left hand by your left ear. Inhale. Exhale. See if you can go deeper into the stretch. Your toes are flexed. Beautiful. Inhale back up. Relax. Switch legs. Inhale, both hands up. Flex your toes, exhale. Chin away from your chest, straightening out your spine, wherever you are. Exhale. Inhale back up. Taking your elbow inside your thigh. Opening up your chest to the ceiling, right hand by your right ear. Flexing your toes. Beautiful stretch. Inhale back up and relax. Um, we're going to put your right leg on your uh, left thigh. Inhale, flex both your toes, exhale. Inhale, look up, exhale, fold. Inhale back up and switch legs. Exhale. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Enjoy the beautiful stretch in the back of your legs. Beautiful Paschimottan Asana. And now we're going to stack your uh, toes. Inhale. Exhale. See if this is easier for you. Inhale back up and switch. Come back. And okay. Now we're going to do Purvottanasana again here. We're going to uh, 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 spread your legs man distance wide. Uh, fingers pointing forward, and you're going to lift your hips up. 
we'll work on the front stretch. Stay right here if this is challenging enough for you. If you want more, you can straighten up one leg. More, both legs, toes pointing down. Keep pushing your hips up and finally release your head back. Beautiful stretch in the front side. Slowly release. Okay, we're going to do Bhuna Manasana. Again, we're gonna keep your uh, toes facing up. Inhale, exhale as you exhale. You want to keep uh, pushing your opposite hip down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, Bhuna Manasana. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And relax. Check it out. Go on all fours. Cat and cow pose. Inhale, lift your head up, hips up, exhale. Chin to the chest, round your spine, tuck your tailbone in. Inhale and exhale. Try to exaggerate this movement. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Neutral spine, bring your knees uh, close to each other and lift your right hand, left leg parallel to the floor. Again, stay here if this is a challenge, if you want more. You're going to crunch. Head is looking straight down. One more. And switch. Opposite hand, opposite leg, left hand, right leg, parallel to the floor. Stay right here. Pull your belly button to your spine. Neutral back, inhale, exhale if you did it before. And rounds. Strengthening your core. Tuck your toes, inhale, exhale into your down dog, walk your dog. Push your hips up. Again, here the posture, you're going to protect your wrist by pushing all the way to your fingertips to the outside periphery of your palm. And walk your dog, loosening your hamstrings. Looking in between your hands, you know, walk your feet and slowly roll up. Your head comes up last. Very nice. Hands on your hips and rotate. Reverse your rotation. Uh, bring your legs together, bend your knees and rotate your knees. And reverse. Ankle stretch, inhale, exhale. Find a focal point. You're gonna hold this pose and see if you can lift up higher. Very nice. You're gonna walk your mat, keeping your eyes closed if you can. Keep it open if you lose your balance. Feel free to turn around. Going higher on your tippy toe. And bring your hands down. You're gonna walk on your heels. You're gonna walk on your heels. You may keep your eyes closed if you wish. Go backwards, forwards. And now the outside edge of your feet. Inside edge. Mm -hmm. 
and relax. Check it out. You can do marching. Bring your knee up high. So you can um, bend it, uh, fold your um, elbows up to your uh, obliques and you can have your palms and have your knees touch your palms each time. Like bringing your knee up to your hip level. Very nice. If you want more, Take your buttocks to the side and cross. Obliques. Straight leg lifts. Hands on your hips. If you find your torso moving too much. And to the side. Diagonal. Very nice. Mukadauti, inhale nose, exhale mouth. Your hands are on your thighs, fingers facing inside. Slowly roll up. You work your eyes and your ears. Okay, peace fingers, you can massage your ears front and back. Pinch your ear lobes, pull it down, ride it like a bicycle forwards, backwards, middle ear, pull it out, upper ear, pull it up, massaging your whole ear, and relax. You're gonna work your eyes. Again, without moving your head, you're gonna work, uh, look up and down. All the way up and all the way down. Close. If you have um, glasses, feel free to take them out. Sensitive eyes may start watering. Diagonal uh, sideways, right to left, left to right. Close, diagonal right up, left down. Close, diagonal left up, right down. Close. Half circle on the top like a rainbow, right to left, left to right. Close, half circle on the bottom. Close your eyes. Starting at 12 o'clock, 
three circles clockwise, stretching all the way, normal breathing, and reverse. Close your eyes, massaging your palm. Gonna chant Mokara as we exhale. Inhale, cup your eyes. Mm. Blinking inside your cups, looking down at the floor, open your eyes. And we work some facial muscles here. We're gonna uh, take some air in. Gargle, air gargle. And relax. Beautiful smile on your face as you relax. Come up to a standing if you were sitting down. You're gonna inhale, both hands up, interlock your fingers, and beautiful stretch. Bring your chin to your chest. And relax your chin. We're going to go to your right side. Or the Kati Chakrasana. Bring your right shoulder forward, left hip forward. Inhale back up. And on the opposite side, bring your left shoulder forward, right hip forward. Beautiful. Come back in. You twist to the right. Look up. Inhale. Exhale the opposite side. And come back. Center. Release your arms. And let's do some cardio one more time. Spreading the legs wider than your hips. Say hello with your left hand. And turn your palm around. You're gonna do super brain yoga. Hold your earlobes, right hand. Hello, and then you, your thumb is facing forward, fingers behind. As you inhale, you're gonna go down. Exhale, come back up. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. So try to keep looking up, straight up. If you look down, you've lost the pose. Only your thighs are working. Inhale, exhale. So if you're looking in the mirror, you should be able to see yourself and your torso all the time. Inhale, exhale. We're improving our memory. Go as low as you can without losing the pose. Only your thighs should hurt. Nothing else. Slowly relax and come back. Very nice. Feel to your legs together. Observe your heart rate. And slowing your heart rate. Let's chant Akara. Uh, Ugara. Now we come to the top of your mat to do some sun salutations. Beautiful sunny day and gonna roll this shade down a little bit. So much reflection happening. Okay. Um, come to the top of your mat, close your eyes. We're gonna chant at the sun salutation. Oh Lord Sun, just like a lake covers the pot, your golden orb covers the entrance to the truth. Kindly uncover the same and lead us to the path of the truth. Chant along if you know the mantra, otherwise enjoy the vibrations. 
हिरण्मयेन पात्रेण सत्य पिहितम मुखम तत्व पूषण अपावृणु सत्य धर्माय दृष्टिये Inhale and soften back, pushing your hips forward. Exhale, bend your knees, touch the floor. Bring your legs uh, uh, hip distance wide. Hold the opposite elbows. You're gonna sway side to side, loosening your lower back. So the leg straightens out. If I fold to the right, the right leg straightens out. If I roll to the left, left leg straightens out. Release your arms, you're gonna shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no, letting the gravity help you relax your neck. And relax, bring into your legs together, hands on your shins, half lift, um, half a lift, flat back, exhale down. Inhale, your right leg back, look up. Ashwa Sanchalan, left knee over your left ankle. Right heel, trying to touch the floor. If you need to, you can always drop your right knee to the floor. Look up, left leg back. Hold your plank. Four points of contact. Plank, ironing board body. Pull your belly button in. Squeeze your glutes, your thighs. Both heels are trying to touch the floor. If you're comfortable here, you're going to walk to the right side, center, left. If you can see your toes, you've lost the pose, come back uh, down, bring your hips down, and look straight ahead. Lengthening your shoulders, the inhale, exhale, drop your knees, drop your chest, elbows tucked in, inhale, up dog, exhale, push back into your down dog. Two breaths, relaxing. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Now you're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna start climbing the mountain. You can always go in child's pose. If this was too much, go in child's pose. And go back up. Relax in mountain pose. Again, if mountain pose is not relaxing in your chest pose, we're going to do the warrior series. Inhale, looking in between your hands, you're gonna place your right foot, pivot your left, 45 degree angle. Right heel in line with my right arch. Inhale, hips facing forward. And look up. Warrior one, warrior two. Make sure your hands both in the same line and try to reach the back wall. Beautiful warrior of love and peace around you. Warrior, reversing your warrior. Left hand rest on your left leg, no weight. Right hand lifts up, lifting your torso along with it. Beautiful balancing pose here. Warrior three, pivot your back leg. In one step or more, shift your weight to your right. Torso parallel to the floor. Beautiful balancing pose. If you want, you can straighten out your arms. From the side, you look like a capital T. Again, you can add one more. You can drop your right hand down. Lift your left hand up, stacking your shoulders, stacking your hips. Ardha Chandrasan. It's easier than it looks. So try it. Beautiful, if your neck allows. If you're not, uh, you can keep looking down. Keep your toe pointed. Beautiful, come back into your warrior two. Windmill your arms in front of you. Pivot the back leg, 
Bring your left leg forward, inhale, arms up and back, pushing your hips forward. Exhale. Inhale, up and back, Ardha Chakrasana. Exhale, Father Hastasana. Inhale, left leg goes back. Ashwasan Chalan, right knee over your right ankle. Left leg back into your plank. Again here, you're gonna learn to go on your elbow. Again, um, if you can see your toes, you've lost the pose. So keep looking straight ahead. Keep lifting your hips up, squeezing your glutes, your thighs, your abs, everything is squeezed. Here again, if you want more, you can go up and down. And relax. Very nice. Drop your knees, your chest into your balasana. Walk your fingers forward. Lift your head up a little bit. Walk your hands to the right side of your mat. Left hand goes on top. To the center, to the opposite side, right hand on top. Beautiful stretch on your sides. And come back on your all fours. Tucking your toes into your down dog. And keep sitting in um, Balasana. We're going to climb the mountain one more time. You can go slowly, bring your knees to your chest, or you can do it fast. When you do slow, you are strengthening. And when you go fast, you are doing your cardio, working your heart. Either way, very beneficial. And relax. Two breaths here. Inhale, nose, exhale, mouth. Into your plank, looking uh, in between your hands, place your left foot, pivot your right leg, 45 degree angle. Straight line from my heel to my arch, hips facing forward. Inhale. My left thigh parallel to the floor, or even weight on both my legs. To warrior two, make sure your hands stay in line, and then try to reach the back wall. You're gazing past your fingertips in the front. Reverse your warrior. Again. Balancing pose, warrior three. Pivot your back leg and shift your weight to your left. Point to toe. Beautiful. If you did it before, you can straighten out your arms. Full body parallel to the floor. The side look like a capital T. Again, if you did it before, drop your left hand. You do Ardha Chandrasana. Stepping your shoulders, stepping your hips. Looking up at the fingertips, going up. Keep your toe pointed. Again, if you need help, you can use some books, stack a book or stack a container underneath your arm to lift your torso. Parallel to the floor if your arms are shorter than your legs. Again, into your warrior two. Windmill your arms in the front. Bring your right leg forward. Inhale, push your hips forward. Exhale. Coming down to a seating. Gomukhasan. Oh, I'm like Ardha Makri, Ardha Mashindrasana. Sorry, you're gonna skip Gomuk today. Hug your right knee. Inhale your right leg, hand behind you, left hand up. Exhale. Aligning your knee with your shoulder, looking over your right shoulder. Exhale. 
Beautiful. Bring a smile to your face, enjoy the pose. Next inhale, release your neck, release your arms, release your legs. Imagine the fresh blood flow going to all your digestive organs, especially your pancreas, making them healthier, stronger. And switch legs, left leg on top. Again, even weight on both your sits bones. Lifting your spine up as you inhale. Your left hand goes behind, exhale. Align your knee with, um, with your shoulder and look back. Squeezing your belly button each time you inhale, lifting your spine and exhale, you twist. Trying to find comfort in this discomfort. You know you're working your digestive organs, improving your um, digestion, your health, especially your pancreas. Next inhale, you release your neck, release your head, release your legs. Bring a beautiful smile to your face. As the organs are getting another um, shot of fresh blood flow. You're going to go lay on your prone position. Bhujangasana, so palms underneath your shoulders, you're gonna lift up. Your torso up to your belly button. Inhale, exhale. Your pelvis stay flat on the mat. Inhale, exhale. Last one, you're gonna stand and lengthen out your arms completely. Inhale, look up. Beautiful stretch, Pujangasana. Spreading your legs wider than, wider, as wide as your mats, looking over your right shoulder, come back. Look over your left shoulder, looking at both your heels. Slowly come back and relax. Rest your palms on your um, chin on your palms. Walk your elbow forward. Enjoy the beautiful stretch in your neck, compression in the back of your neck. And kick, inhale, exhale. Either one leg at, at a time or both legs at once. This is also good for your knees. And come back up. Beautiful. Bring both arms above your head. Then lift up and go swimming. Lift your thighs up and relax. Makrasana. You do the breaststroke. Inhale, exhale. And relax. Into your makrasana. Okay. Airplane pose, toe to toe, ankle to ankle, knee to knee, make your body tight. When your body's tight, body will be light. Arms up like airplane wings, palms facing the floor. Inhale, the whole body up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one and relax. Soft landing. Let's chant Makara, inhale. Mm. 
go on your um, knees and leave your head on the floor. The proning position, anytime you have hard time breathing. And relax. Turn on your spine. Keep your knees bent. Holding up the ankles. Okay, we're gonna bring your right uh, ankle over your left thigh. And you're gonna lift one leg, let's say to Bandasana. Inhale, push your hips up, exhale. Keep pushing up, see if you can go on your tippy toe, interlock your fingers. Um, Show the blades are tucked in, open up your chest, push your hips up. Beautiful, one-legged, getting stronger. Your legs are getting stronger. Beautiful back bend. Slowly release, interlock, release your arms, bring it over your head and slowly come down, hips come down. And then finally, lift your leg up, left leg up. Flex all your 10 toes, interlock your fingers behind your left thigh. Inhale, exhale, forehead to the knee. Beautiful stretch in your right hip. Slowly release. Bring your left leg down, arms up to the side, palms facing the floor. You're gonna bring the knees to the right, head to the left. Again, observe the weight of your right leg, pushing your left knee to the floor. Enjoy your Markatasana, spinal twist. Release, come back to the center and release your leg. Switch legs, left ankle on right thigh. Bring your right leg close to your hip and you're gonna lift up. Say to Bandhasana. And see if you can go up on your tippy toe, interlock your fingers, glue your palms together. Tuck in your shoulder blades, opening up your chest. If you can push up even higher using your elbows. See if you can go up higher. Very nice. So your left knee is trying to touch the floor here. So don't try to bring your knee up. It needs to go down. Beautiful. Keeping your hips in the same line. Wow. Relax your arms. Bring it over your head. Belly button to your spine as you come down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Once your hips are down, lift your right leg up. Interlock your fingers behind your right thigh. Inhale, exhale. Right knee to your forehead, left elbow, pushing your left thigh away from you. Beautiful stretch in your hips. Enjoy. You're breathing into those stretches. Slowly relax, bring your knees to the left, head to the right. Both shoulders are flat on the floor. The weight of your left leg pushing your right knee to the floor. Slowly come back up and release your legs. Straighten out your legs. Okay, um, Pavan Muktasana Kriya. Inhale, exhale. Mm. 
massaging, you're ascending and you're descending, cold, and if you have neck issues, leave it on, head, leave your head on the floor. Make sure to squeeze your thighs in tight. Massaging your ascending and your descending colon. Anytime you feel gassy, you broke it. And relax. Now, if you have your periods, you want to skip the next one, the shoulder stance. Any heart issues, hypertension, you want to skip. Uh, any um, issues with your neck, you want to skip this one with your heart. Uh, high blood pressure again. Um, do very mindful if you can do some of it, right? So we're going to lift your hips up into uh, Shavas, uh, shoulder stance. It's a beautiful inversion pose. You can do with Pratkarni where your torso is 45 degree angle. You can even use a wall to walk up on the wall, do Viprit Karni. If you're in Sarvangasana, your chin is tucked up all the way to your chest, crunching your thyroids. Show stay above the hips at all times. If you can practice one leg in halasana, right toe over your head, left toe over your head, into your full halasana, pushing the earth away from you, thumb downward inch by inch, full control. Again. Your hips are on the floor, 90 degrees, flexing your toes inch by inch, strengthening your core. And relax completely. Let it go, shake it out. Um, you're going to roll to the side, tuck your right hand under your hip, left hand under your left hip. Okay, push your weight on your elbow and come up. Prop yourself up. It's for Matsyasana. It's a variation of Matsyasana. Now you're going to take your head back. The crown of your head is on the floor, spread, extending your neck completely. Beautiful stretch in the neck. So counterpose to show us uh, to show the stand, Sarvambasana. Next inhale, you lift your head up and release it to the floor. And untuck your arms and relax. Hug your uh, knees. We're going to do a spinal massage. Coming to a seating. Try to reach. If you want more, come to a standing. Very nice. Last one. Going into your Shavasana. Spread your legs, mat distance wide, feet falling to the side. Relax your shoulders, checking your shoulder blades, see how your arms rotate out, palms face the ceiling. Observe your whole body. Straighten out any discomfort that you have and let it go. Relax your toes. 
the bottom of your feet, your ankle joint, your shin muscles, your calf muscles, all completely relaxed. Pull up your kneecap, release, relax your knees. Your thighs, inner thigh, outer thigh, back of your thigh, completely relaxed. Squeeze your butt buttock muscles, release, relax your hip joint, pelvic joint. Completely relax. To enhance this relaxation, we'll chant a kara, deep inhale. Uh, Awareness in my abdomen muscle. Observe as you inhale, your belly rises. As you exhale, your belly sinks in. Relaxing your ab muscles, your digestive organs. Relax your lower back, your middle back, your upper back, loosening up all the muscles and the ligaments in your back, taking you deeper into your mat. Next inhale, bring your awareness to your chest and your shoulders, relaxing them. Bringing your awareness to the fingertips, relax the fingers, your palms, your wrist joint, your forearms, your elbow joint, your biceps, your tricep, your shoulder joint completely relaxed. Midsection of your body is relaxed to enhance this relaxation. Let's chant Ukara, deep inhale. Ooh. Shifting your awareness to the neck muscle. Rotate your head to the right. Right ear trying to touch the mat. To the center, to the left. To the center, relaxing your neck muscle. Relax your chin. Your lips. Bring a smile to your face, relaxing your facial muscles. Going down to your teeth, your gums, your tongue, your vocal cords, completely relaxed. Awareness on the tip of your nose. Observe as you inhale, cool air entering your nostril walls. And you exhale, warm air coming out. Relax your nose and your nostrils. Awareness on your eyes. Feel the heaviness of your eyeballs in your eye socket. Heaviness of your eyelids over eyeballs. Relax your eyes, your eyebrows, and the space in between your eyebrows. 
relax your forehead, your temple muscles, your sides of your ear, the ba uh, back of your head, the crown of your head, completely relax. Subsection of your body is completely relaxed. To enhance this relaxation, let's chant Mahakara. Inhale. Your whole body is completely relaxed. Let's chant Omkara and feel the resonance throughout your body. Inhale. Slowly you wiggle your toes, your fingers, bring your legs together, arms above your head. Yourself a stretch. Bending both your knees, roll to the right side. Right hand in front of you, left hand. A right, um, sorry, right hand uh, supporting your head, left hand in front of you. Stay here for a breath or two. When you're ready, push yourself up to a seating. Keeping your eyes closed. We're going to chant Brahmri, which helps improve our immunity. Practice it, practice it a couple of times a day before breakfast, lunch, dinner. We'll just chant uh, three rounds of Brahmri with no kara, tip of the tongue touching the top palate, and three rounds relaxed tongue, ma kara. Okay, so six rounds. You're going to lift your elbows to your chest level, opening up your lungs completely. We're going to close your eyes and ears, and first no kara three rounds, and then ma kara three rounds. Deep inhale. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
relax. Sitting in any meditative pose, chin mudra. Right palm stacked over your left thumb, touching on palms resting on your lap. Awareness at your third eye, gazing up. Beautiful smile on your face as you enjoy the peace and the quiet within. Follow the sound. Deep inhale. Uh. Joining your palms in Namaskar Mudra. We chant the universal prayer. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha, sarve santu niramayaha, sarve bhadrani pashantu, ma kaschet dukha bhakave, om shanti, shanti, shanti. Take both hands behind your back, hold the right wrist in your left, inhale, look up, open your chest. Exhale, fold the complete surrender out with the gratitude. Inhale, back up. Massaging your palms, generate some heat. Cup your eyes, massaging the muscles holding your eyes, your forehead, your face, your neck. Massage one more time. Spreading the heat, the energy, the divine energy into your whole body, your arms your back, your legs, massaging the bottom of your feet, each toe, you can rotate each toe clockwise and anti-clockwise. Slowly bring your hands back up into Namaskar Mudra, opening your palm like a book, blinking your eyes into them making a resolve to be a happy, to be a healthy, to be a helpful person, sending love, hope, and energy out to the universe. Namaskar. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good to chat. Thank you for an excellent class today. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> So the uh, oh recording I have to stop. Yeah.